You met someone who set you back on your heels Goody goody You met someone and now you know how it feels Goody goody You gave her your heart too Just as I give mine to you And she broke it in little pieces Now how do you do? You lie awake just singing the blues all night Goody goody community and welcome youtubers from everywhere little over three years ago i did a video audio file babes part one i think it's about time for part two what do you all think what i had in mind who i had in mind when i started this series was the lady you just saw lynn stanley london calling I got limited, special limited edition number 184, 233 and a third RPM records. Everything first class, recording, mastering, pressing at RTI, just a gorgeous record. And uh, I think if you like this kind of music, you should pick it up. I'm a big Julie London fan. Oh, what was she doing right here? Little tribute to Julie, Julie London and Calendar Girl. One of all of our favorite Julie London albums and covers. Yeah, little tribute there. Just a gorgeous record. And uh, I'm going to show all of her records that I have and uh, talk about them a little bit and uh, I hope you enjoy Audiophile Babe number two, Lynn Stanley. All of the records have custom labels, beautiful custom labels, all pressed at RTI. This is the only record I'm going to show you. They all look fantastic. They all sound fantastic. today at Bernie Grinman's studio as we begin to do our first recording for a direct-to-disc, a compliment to my Julie London tribute album. I don't know why, but I'm feeling so sad. The recordings we're doing today, we're really looking for the sound to be as natural and realistic as possible. And have a party in that big Cadillac. The music is first. You know, the audio is great. It's like frosting on the cake and all of that. If you set up everything just for the sound, it's probably just gonna lay there. We know it's gonna be clean and a good sound, but we want it also to be mechanically good so that you can your record player won't skip and jump around. Plus you were hanging out on that lathe a lot. Yeah, a yeah, boat that, load. Yeah, but that's the biggest challenge. Right, on a is, direct. It's trying to get the right groove. Yeah. You know, have it cut properly so that you can play it back. Right, right. right. <laughs> you know. I wanted to do a direct to disc because it's a live recording and Julie was a live performer. We're doing some that were from the previous Julie London, but new ones are coming in. So we needed to have some practice sessions. Let there be you. Let there be you. I, you know, all of the process of getting organized, getting the guys organized, it, it all falls on the producer. Now that I'm the producer and also the singer, it, it adds a little more drama to my morning. Wow. What you just saw and heard there was a little bit about the making of this record live at Bernie's, Bernie Grunman. I think this was only the third live in his studio that had been done. I don't know if any have been done since then. This is the best one. London with a twist, a little bit more Julie London, and a little bigger variety. 
says here, no auto-tune, no Pro Tools, no Melodyne, no, this is direct to disc at Bernie Grunman's, like always, beautiful packaging. These two albums, if you're not just a huge fan like me, these two records might be all you need, and I can't recommend them highly enough. All of the clips here that you will see, except for the ones you see me doing right now, are from Miss Stanley's website, lynnstanley.com, and she has a YouTube channel directly below. I'm going to link her YouTube channel. She's got lots of videos, all professionally done, all great sound quality. If you want to check out a little bit, go check all those out. I guarantee you will enjoy them. I stand at my gate And the song that I sing is of moonlight Got a little personal story here for you about this recording. Uh, Miss Stanley and I are friends, and around the time she was making this record, uh, we were talking regularly on the telephone, and you got the kind of insight and information that you don't get from reading the liner notes. The Moonlight Sessions, again, mastered by Bernie Grunman, passed at RT, pressed at RTI. One of the tunes on here is Moonlight Serenade. And I got a little personal story on this. This was recorded in Capitol Studios uh, in Hollywood. And uh, later in the evening, all the musicians had went to lunch, but they were going to come back and do some recording. And her and Bernie were walking around the old Columbia recording studios, and she wandered into the room, the plate room, where they did the reverb, the famous... Columbia Reverb thing where all the famous people had recorded. She was in there just kind of singing around and said, oh man, this sounds fantastic. We got to use this. So they went, got to, had to move the piano down to the hallway in front of the room so that she had something to listen to. And so they recorded her vocal on this track in the famous Columbia Reverb room. And uh, then, of course, the rest of the musicians listened in and played their parts in the studio. So just one of the little bits that make the music more fun, that make the record more fun. And uh, this is a really good record. I got number 498 of 2,000. Generally, she numbered the first 1,000 copies, then the next 1,000, maybe not. So uh, I got a few extra copies of this if you can't find one anywhere else. And uh, following this is Volume 2. Volume 2, here Volume 1 was came out early in 2017. Volume 2 came out later in 2017. Look at that little hype sticker up there. If you can read that, this is... The Moonlight Sessions, Volume 2, Beta Issue, just a little bit later than the test press. I got number 6. Boy, it's great to have that. I had to leave the jacket on here so that you could uh, see that Beta Test number 6. Generally, on our issues, uh, the Deluxe Editions always were hand-signed. Like always, just gorgeous. Check out this record. You will enjoy it. About this time, one steps were getting real popular. So here, I'm not taking this one out. This is a slightly later reissue of the same record. They redid the lacquers to make a one-step. 
This is the special limited edition supersonic one-step vinyl, and I got number 20 of 2,000. Yeah, these are real treasures. I like to keep these videos from getting uh, too long, so just a little bit about her you can check out on her YouTube channel. Her mentor was Paul Smith, the famous jazz pianist who toured for quite a time with Ella Fitzgerald, and he suggested she might get into singing. Now, one of the things that happened, uh, she had the interest and the resources to produce these herself. And one of the things that happens when, when you do that, you maybe don't get taken quite as serious as uh, when some big label picks you up and promotes you. But that's mostly not the world we live in today. So her first record in 2013 was Lost in Romance. 45 RPM, double LP. These are all good records. She was honing her skills on this record. She was practicing, so you could hear a little rough edges here and there in the vocals. Then the first one of her records that I picked up was Potions. This was 2014. She kind of did a record every year there for a while. There's the track list. Hand signed, of course. Not opening these up. Save a little bit of time here. Really good record. And she was rolling when she did interludes. This in 2015. There's the track listing. So that's a little look at Lynn Stanley. And uh, interesting person, and I, these later records are great. I think you will enjoy them. Now, I have a few ideas for Audio File Babes Part 3. Maybe we could even have a 4 and 5. Any of you that made it to the end, comment down here below who you think would be good for an Audio File Babe. Now first part there is, ba well, the first part's audiophile, so they need some audiophile records. The second part is babe, yeah. Uh, everybody's going to get on me for that, but I say keep them spinning and keep the audiophile babes coming. Never know how much I love you Never know how much I care When you put your arms around me I get a fever that's so hard to bear You give me fever When you kiss me Fever when you hold me tight Fever In the morning Fever all through the night 